Ja. Okay, today uh, we're going to divert a little bit and discuss Tu Bishvat. Tonight and tomorrow Tu Bishvat, which is, the Mishnah says, it's the new year of trees. Because it's the new year of trees, so therefore it's a very festive day to the extent that if a chassan would be getting married on Tu Bishvat, he wouldn't fast. Or there's no tachnun and things like that. Now, what's unique about uh, Rosh Hashanah for trees? It's not Rosh Hashanah for people. But Chazal say, but there's a Pasuk in Chumash, Ki Adam Eitzah When he speaks about you go to war, you're not allowed to chop down fruit trees. So it says over there, Ki Adam Eitzah A person is likened to a tree of the field. Which are many different ways of comparison. So because a person is likened to a fruit of the tree, and uh, so therefore, Tu Bishvat, which is Rosh Hashanah for trees, they're judged then, and also has been about one year to the next, uh, about tithing and things like that. So therefore, it's, uh, you know, it's the new year of trees. Now, some people, in fact, would wear Shabbos clothing on Tu Bishvat, but uh, the people, most of the people don't. Now, why, therefore, we didn't say Tachim to Mincha today, we don't say Tachim tomorrow also. Now, uh, there's a minig of, of um, okay, one second. There's a minig of eating fruits, especially of, our, of uh, fruits that uh, the seven minim that Eretz Yisrael was praised with, especially the five fruits of the tree, which is uh, wine, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and dates. So the, those are the five fruits people have a minute of eating. In fact, some people have a minute, it's brought down, that they even try to get a new fruit, that they can make a shachionu on the new fruit. Some people have a minute to eat boxer. Boxer is carob. Because boxer is a rashbi, it says, when he was in the cave, sustained himself for 12 years on the boxer tree and the well of water that Hashem made outside his cave. So there's an interesting, Shiloh, what happens if you're eating a new fruit and you need to make a shachionu? Do you make the shachionu first and then the brei priyayits? Or do you make the brei priyayits first and then the shachionu? So in different, there's a, in Aloha there's different opinions. The Alt Rebbe says clearly in Bech Sanen and the Alt Rebbe holds clearly you make the shachionu first and then the brei priyayits. Why? For a very simple reason. You don't want to make a separation between the actual bracha and the actual eating. Some people say no, because you make an eight and the shachyonu shows the festivity of it and you know, uh, it shows excitement and therefore they bring down, uh, because the, the eating is causing the shachyonu, so you, you know, you make the bracha, but the bracha, how many gives? that we first say the shachionu and then we make the very priyayits. Some people want to say that, but it's nothing to do with the bracha. It's nothing to do with the order of the bracha. Dao Rebbe says clearly in Shekhanah, in Bechsanani, you make the shachionu first, and then the... Um, the and all they've been done, by the way, if Tadu but what? If you're somewhere and they give you a food and you make the bracha, Well, it's like this. Let's say you had a meal. Okay, let's bring out this point. It could happen, okay? You're sitting at a meal. You made our eights on a fruit. Then somebody brings you a new, different fruit that you didn't have before. So the question is, you have to make a very pure eights or just a shachyon? Now, shachyon for sure you have to make. But the truth is, you're going to have to say very pure eights also. Why? Unless if you had in mind, because the din is like this, if I make a brach on a fruit, or any food, I'm not in my one house. second, one second, I make a brach on food. So, uh, let's say I take an apple from the fridge, and I make a bread puree. Okay, and when I ate, made a bread puree, I thought I'm going to eat an apple, that's it. All of a sudden, you realize, okay, you know what, I'm going to take uh, a pear. But when you made the bread puree, number one, it wasn't in front of you. 
and you didn't have it in mind. So then when if you go to the fridge and you take out another pear, you have to make a new eight. If, even if you take out a new apple, you have to make a eight. Now if you have a plate of fruit in front of you, they're all in front of you, and you make a eight on the apple, then you decide to take a pear. So over there you don't have to make a bracha because it's all there in front of you. So the eight goes on everything. Now even if it's somebody else's house, it doesn't matter. They're giving you a fruit. It's not like a meal that you thought they finished the meal and then they give you more food so you don't have to make a new bracha because you're relying on the host. But here, the fruit was all of a sudden somebody popped into the house with a boxer. I mean, whatever. So then you'd have to make a shachirno enoi. Correct. Unless, if you had in mind the fruit, then you just make shachirno. Yeah, you can have in mind that whatever, when I make a eight, it's going in any fruit I'm going to be eating, because then automatically you're thinking you're going to be eating more fruit. Yeah, but that's not on the enjoyment. There's two concepts of shachion. Shachion is one on a new yomtif or a new mitzvah, but that has to do with mitzvahs. This is pleasure. Enjoyment. Um, technically, if somebody gets a big uh, gift, we don't do it today, but technically you'd have to make a shachion. You buy an expensive garment, technically you'd have to make a shachion. Now the Gemara says, the Mishnah says, when you see the new fruit, when you buy the garment, not when you wear it, but the Pearl Dominican says an aloha is, that you don't make a shachyonu until you eat the fruit, you don't make a shachyonu on the garment until you yeah. actually wear the garment. So what about a teva mate? We're not talking about a teva mate now. No, but you're uh, whatever, you don't, people don't make a teva Okay, people don't make a teva mate today. Okay, so then, in fact, in many places, especially in the Saudi community, they have a whole seder. They have a whole meal tonight of fruits. Some people have 15 fruits, some places it says you should have 30 different types of fruits. Uh, Ashkenazi communities are not uh, so much into that stuff. Not so fruity. Huh? They're not so fruity. They're not so fruity. Okay, now, shh. Now, when do you make a new shachion on a new fruit? Okay, now it has to be, uh, I'll give you an example. What happened if you didn't have an apple yet this year? And all of a sudden you take an apple. You don't make a, a shachion on that apple because it's a, it's a fruit that you have all year round. A fruit which is seasonal, some, by the way, it's interesting, we don't pass on like that, but there are certain opinions that say, today you don't make shachion on new fruits. It's not a big simcha, you get excited about a new fruit. I mean, you don't. You get more excited about a candy bar than a, than a new fruit. You know, you're not gonna make shachion on a candy bar. So there are people, but the majority of the world holds that you do make a shechion, but it has to be a fruit which is seasonal. Like there's, a, I'll give you an example, peaches, nectarines, plum, that, that, that's summer fruit. Then you have winter fruit. You know, you have, but if it's seasonal, even though technically, because of the close, the smallness of the world, so you know, we have summer fruits and winter fruits, but when it hits winter here, South, Amer South America is uh, the southern hemisphere is summer. So they, you get, here you can get fruits a whole year. Today, if you want, you can get peaches and nectarines a whole year. But in the barrel, it is called a seasonal fruit. There's a summer season for fruits, there's a winter season for fruits. So if you had it, and if you have the same, um, if you have the same fruit, you know, a few months apart, but if it's the same season, then you don't make a shachion. Even let's say what happens if somebody has a dried fig. You have the, the raw figs and then you have the dried figs. So on the dried figs you wouldn't make a shachion because it's not the actual prominence of the fruit. Yeah, but even let's say somebody ate a dry fig and then later they have a... A dry fig? Huh? A, a normal fig, you know, not dried. So then you'd make a shechion because it's a whole different uh, celebration of the fruits. Okay, now, what happens if somebody's eating what? Uh, at what point is the year measured? Just in the season of, the seasons of the fruit? Yeah. 
whatever the news, you know, listen, we know there's a season for this, these fruits, a season for these fruits. So, um, okay, now, there's an order of fruits, let's say. Um, so, you have the five fruits that I just always prayed with, praised with, besides wheat and barley. But the thing is, the Pasuk says like this, Eretz, Chita, Usaira, wheat and barley, Gefen, grapes, Ta'ena, figs, Verimen, and pomegranates. Then it says, Eretz, Zeis, Shemen, which are olives, Udvash, honey means dates. Okay? So the thing is, whatever is first in the order of the Pasuk to the word Eretz comes first. Okay? Therefore, Technically, what happens if you eat cake and wine? Now, Shabbos by Kiddush, you can, because you're not allowed to eat before Kiddush, so you have to make Kiddush. You can't eat the cake before you make Kiddush. That's one of the reasons why you cover the challah and the cake when you're making Kiddush, because really, chita, wheat, comes before geffen. So really, you have to make, let's say now, during the week, you sit down and have a piece of cake with a grape and fig, whatever. First, you make a mezainus on the cake or cookie, whatever. And then, and if it's wheat and barley, if it's, let's say, wheat bread versus barley bread, you make a bracha on the wheat bread first. So then you have like this, Eretz Chito Seira Gefen. So figs is the third from the Pasuk Eretz, right? Then you have Eretz Chito Seira Gefen, then Te'en of so, the, the, in these fruits, it's grapes is three, tain is four, rimen is five. Okay? Then you have zei shemen udvash, olives and dates. But that's one and two from the second Eretz. So that means, in the order of the brachas of these five things, first you would make a bracha on olives, then dates, then figs, oh, uh, grapes. no, grapes, grapes uh, figs, pomegranates. The order would be, that would be the word, in other words, you don't make five separate brachas. But it means if I'm eating these fruits, and I'm eating all of them, what should I take first? So you, first you would take olives, and then dates, and then Grapes and then figs and pomegranates, because that's the order of the pasuk. So that makes that. By the way, that's only if you're eating all of them. If I want to eat a, 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 a pomegranate and I don't want to eat the others, I don't have to make a brach on the pomegranate. I mean, on the others. <coughs> if I'm eating all of them, which one do I do first? I do, you know, the one that comes first in the pasuk. Right? You make one brach. If they're again, if if they're in front of you and you're planning to eat them, so you make one brach. And you don't have to keep making bro the different brachas. But again, that's only... Well, now, what happens if you have one of these five fruits from Eretz Yisrael, and you're eating an apple, and you're going to eat both of them? So I have to make a eights, but I'm eating both. So then the din is, if they're both equal to me, equal in importance, so again, you make first the bracha and the, the Israeli fruits, not from Israel, but the, that they're praised with. So if I'm eating grapes, let's say in an apple, first I would make, let's say there's a fruit platter, right? So first I would make our eight on the grape, and then not on the apple. If I made a brach on the apple, let's say by mistake, you don't have to make a brach on the grape again because you made the eight. Just the order, the proper order of the brachas. Okay, some people, um, it's another interesting thing. The Gemara is, what? K comes first because it's closer to the first edits versus Zayis, which is closer to the second edits. The first edits is more prominent than, but if it would be barley versus grape, grape would come before, uh, I mean olives. Olives would come before barley. Because barley is the second and olives is the first. Now, generally speaking, the Gemara, is like, the Gemara says, if you eat olives a lot, it makes you forget your learning. If you eat olive oil, it makes you remember your learning. 
So Gemara says, what should you do if you want to eat olives? It says, put a little olive oil on it and it neutralizes. The forgetting and the rem remembering, so you're okay. You're safe that uh, you can do that. So sardines. Huh? Sardines. No. No. <laughs> um, put sardines on what? Just sardines. They said little fish are supposed to be good for the, for the brain. So if you're mixing them with the salad, what do you do? You're mixing what with the salad? The what? These items. No, by the way, let's say, for argument's sake, you're having a salad. No, let's sandwich is different. Let's say you're having a salad. It's not to do too much fat. This is just a lot. Let's say you're having a salad. So you're having, let's say, lettuce and cucumbers and tomatoes or whatever. Yeah, avocado. And you have avocado on the salad. Now, all these things that we mentioned are all dumb. Lettuce. Cucumbers, tomatoes, they're all dumb. Seven. Avocado is her eights. Okay? So, what bracha do you make on the salad? So, if they're all equal to you, that means, they're, you know, you, it's not one over the next. You make a bracha on the majority of it. If the majority of the salad is her adama, you make her adama. If the majority of the salad is her eights, you make her eights. Now, what happens if you like the minority better than the majority? But it's not the same. You really like the avocado, let's say. So then, if you want, before you make a dumb on the salad, you can take out a piece of avocado and make a eights, and then make a dumb on the rest of the salad. But if you already made a bracha dumb on the salad, then it's too late to take out avocado and make a bracha because that bracha was covered already. Mahashin is a mess of my mother, 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 my m